Hey y'all, so today I am sharing a dream message that I had. If you're new here, sometimes I share my dreams. So it has a message behind it. Um, basically, the message for this one is don't let other people make you feel bad for y'all not being on speaking terms or like if there's no communication between you and a person. Um, so that was like, that's like the main message. So I'm gonna just go into this dream real quick. At first y'all, I did not know if I was gonna be able to share this, honestly, like... Like, I really thought that I was going to be crying when this is, like, so uncut, y'all. And I'm being, like, super honest. Like, some people will not probably share this with y'all. But, like, um, <laughs> but I literally thought that I was going to be, like, crying when I shared this dream. Honestly, like, but I'm okay now. Um, So, I had a dream, like, Friday. It was, like, 4.40 something in the morning. But I'm going to just go into the dream real quick. So, um... In this dream, I was in a house with some people. Um, it's almost like it was some type of event or something. You know how, like, it's like some type of event, but then you, like, y'all meet up at somebody's house or something. That's kind of, like, what it seemed like. So, I was sitting in one room, and then all the other people, um, they were, like, in another room, too. They were, like, in another room, and, like, one of the people um, that was in the room, they were, like, singing. They were singing, like, a gospel song. Um... So I'm in the next room and I'm like, I hear the person singing. I was like kind of shocked. I was like, oh, I didn't know so-and-so could sing like that. Um, but it's not like they, they really, it's almost like they couldn't sing, but they were singing. It was kind of weird, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> but they were singing and like everybody in the room was like praising the person. Like, you know, you would have thought it was like a concert basically in the next room. Um, so when the person had got done singing, Two of the people came into the room where I was sitting at. So they, oh, and my back was turned towards them. Um, but one of the people that came into the room, they had walked up behind me. And um, they had said, so when they had walked up behind me, like, all they said was communication. Like, they had said it that way, like, in a tone where it was, like, it's almost like they were, like, mad because we were not communicating or, like, we were not on speaking terms. But it's, like, instead of them saying, like, hey, how you doing, that type of thing, they just was, like, oh, like, communication. Like, I'm not going to, like, they wanted me to speak to them first, basically. That type of thing. And so, I just sat there and I had a, um, like, a... A price tag in my hand like I had the plastic part it was almost like I was like playing with a playing with a, um, a price tag but it kind of looked like something that you get from my, like off of a shirt like usually I would cut like the plastic little um, piece off or whatever so I had that in my hand but I never responded back to the person um but for some reason it's like it was like a big pause after they had said communication. It's like everything had like sunk in or whatever. Like I could feel that they were trying to make me feel bad for us not communicating or like they were like mad because I didn't speak to them first, that type of thing. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention too, like this person was like getting dressed like behind me or whatever. They were like putting on some clothes, but like what they had on, it was like a, I seen like a smiley face. So, yeah, the person had on a smiley face, um, like, on their clothing or whatever. But, um, yeah, so when they had said communication in that tone or whatever, it was, like, a big pause. And for some reason, y'all, when they had said that and it was, like, a big pause or whatever, it's just, like, I had started crying, like, and I had actually woke up crying. Like, I didn't want to mention that part, but that's, like, really what it was, y'all. Like, I was, like, literally, like, in tears. I was crying for, like, a whole... I want to say like an hour. I'm not really sure why that made me cry, but the way I was feeling y'all, I thought that I was going to be crying for like a whole week straight, which is crazy. I'm like, what in the world? Like this person really tried to make me feel bad for us not communicating. And the thing about it is some of these people, like, if this is, like, y'all, if this resonates with you, like, some of these people that you have not been communicating with, or it's like, maybe y'all done fell out, like, you haven't spoken to them, like, in a long time, some of these people have been talking, like, real bad, okay? Um, but 
Oh, let me go into um, the notes I put. So, oh, so I put, um, this is like, for some reason, this had came to me like when I was writing this down. Um, but I put that the phone works two ways now with communication. And I said, and, and if they truly and genuinely were concerned about your well-being, they would contact you. But some people have been talking so bad about you behind your back. They can't call you. They can't face you. But they're mad because you guys are not communicating. <laughs> I never really understood that with some people. It's like, okay, you can sit there. And, like, the person had a smiley face on y'all. So, it's like the type of person that will smile in your face but then be talking about you behind your back. But then it's like they wondering why y'all not communicating or why y'all not on speaking terms, like that type of thing. But instead of them just, like, apologizing for something that they did or whatever they said to you or whatever like they'll try to make you feel bad for y'all not communicating that type of thing and some people like to do that y'all but don't let anyone and they don't even care who it is like what type of title they have don't let them make you feel bad for um for y'all not communicating or like if y'all are not on speaking terms that type of thing um or like if you had to cut the person off so yeah that's pretty much what it was 